Welcome to Go Get It. Today we are going to see a sample problem of a job sequencing using greedy method. In a job sequencing problem, we will have set of tasks with their respective deadlines and the profit earned on execution of respective tasks. The set information is mentioned in the given table here. We will be looking for the answers of these two questions. Are all tasks completed? What is the maximum profit earned? At the end of this algorithm, we will be able to answer the status of all the task execution. Let's get back to the given problem. Here the maximum deadline shown is 7. You can see the deadline column, the maximum level is 7. So consider the deadline in a form of clock-like structure as shown here. Here we have plotted from 0 to 7 in a clock-like structure which will be used to locate the task. As shown in the table, the deadline specifies the maximum time limit for any task to get executed. For example, for T2, the deadline specified is 2, which means that T2 cannot execute beyond deadline 2. It can execute in 0, 1 and 1, 2. That's all, not beyond 2. Starting with the first step of the algorithm, we have to arrange the given task in increasing order of their respective profits. So on arrangement, on arranging all the tasks based on their profit earned, we have the given table as shown here. So here you can see that T3 has been allocated the first position because it is having the maximum profit as 30. Here T4 and T5 are at the same level because both are having the same profit. Now let's start allocating the task based on their deadlines. Starting with T3, the deadline specified here is 5. So we will allocate the 4-5 slot to T3. Let's mark it. Next task we have is T9. T9 is having as deadline 3. So we will allocate 2-3 slot to uh, task T9. This marking is important because this will keep track of all the available slots for the upcoming tasks. Next we have T7. T7 is having deadline 2. We will allocate 1 to 2 slot to T7. Now again we have T7. After T7 we have T2. But T2 is having deadline 2 which should belong to 1 to 2 slot but 1 to 2 slot is already allocated to T7 but we have 0 1 slot as empty so we will allocate T2 there now we have T4 now for T4 you can see that deadline given is 3 but 0 to 3 all the slots have been occupied by the previously uh, previously came task so we cannot allocate T4 anywhere. Next is T5 which is having deadline as 4. We can allocate 3-4 slot to T5. Next is T8 with a deadline of 7. We will allocate 6-7 slot to T8. Now lastly we are left with only one slot which is 5-6. And then upcoming task is T1 with a deadline of 7, which should belong to 6-7 slot, but we, it is already occupied, so we are left with only 5-6 slot, so we will allocate it to T1. And that's it. We have occupied all the given slots. And finally, you can see that we are left with only two tasks unexecuted, that is T4 and T6. So our main objective here is to calculate the total profit earned. Now we have executed T3, T9, T7, T2, T5, T8 and T1 and their respective profits are mentioned here 30, 25, 23, 20, 18, 16 and 15. So total profit earned here is 147. 
So ultimately we can say that we are left with only two tasks T4 and T6 as unexecuted with a maximum profit earned 147. That's all. Subscribe for Go Get It for more videos. Thank you.